Hi, I'm Mike, and welcome to 2022 on our Wyoming Life. Fire it up! Hi guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. It's our chance once a week to uh, bring you along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. This week, a little bit different though, because this is the very first weekly vlog of 2022. So the big thing is that we took a little bit of a break from the end of 2021 until now, uh, we took a few weeks off. And so I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys from what happened while we were gone, but kind of hard to work into a weekly vlog format. So we are gonna kind of take a touch back. We're gonna look at some things that happened and we're gonna look at the future of the ranch also. There's been lots of changes to the ranch over the last six years. We're going into our sixth year here on YouTube. And you know, kids have grown up. Um, this seed has a 99% germination rate. That's on the label. And pork. Each year we raise six steers and anywhere from five to 10 hogs. Some our next tour will be to take care of the chicks and don't forget about the ducks. Friends have come and gone. It, you know, it's, it makes you feel good. You know, it's, it's money that goes to everybody here at the ranch. It's, you know, it makes you feel better that, you know, they didn't lose another calf because you, you got out there and you got in the mud and, you know, saved it. And of course, the ranch itself has changed immensely over the last six years. And 2022 is really no different. In fact, the ranch is gonna be changing this year more than it ever has in the past. But before we get to that, I wanna share with you what we've really been up to over the last 20 days here on the ranch. First off, I wanna really thank you for giving us the last 20 days off. I mean, it's been, uh, it's been great because I've been able to uh, reconnect with the kids, with family, and honestly, we've been able to get some projects done and some projects started around here that I might not have been able to do if I was worried about filming and making sure that everything was running smoothly on social media. And the big project that we've done over the last 20 days has been one that um, has been kind of, kind of in secret. Uh, we've had, uh, some of you guys have known about it because we've talked about it in our newsletter, which you can sign up for at rwomenlife.com, but um, mostly I had to keep it off the channel because the kids watch the videos and I really couldn't let them know what I was up to. Long story short is that I picked up this go-kart uh, basically from a junkyard. It was barely running, flat tires, seat was just destroyed. There was many, there were a lot of things wrong with it. and. I spent uh, a couple hundred dollars getting it out of the junkyard, a couple hundred dollars maybe, you know, just for a new seat and it needed new brakes and some tire issues were happening. Um, so I really didn't put a whole lot of money into this, but I really wanted to recycle it and bring it back. And when I did, then the kids, well, they got it for one of their Christmas presents. It's a little chilly. Sorry, guys. It's okay. You guys ready for this? Yes. Sorry, I'm making yeah. you wait for a while. Your, uh, your big prize, big surprise here for Christmas. Okay, you ready? Last year was cocoa bean. Last year was cocoa bean. This year is gonna be something completely different. Okay, you gotta cover your eyes. Hold on, just don't move yet. Cover your eyes, mom's gonna help you guys outside. Okay, Mike okay. in first, come on. We all have to open our eyes at the same time. I'm just curious. Mommy, can we open our eyes at the same time? Yeah. Come on. Come on, hold on to your sister's hand. Reach back, there you go. There's a step here. Okay, come on. Whoop, steps, watch out. Step, 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 step. Okay. No peeking, no peeking. This way, this way, this way, this way. What is that? I was guessing it was that. Get over here. Go check it out. Get over there. Check it out. What are those? Helmets. Helmets. You can't drive it in the garage. Tomorrow, we'll take it out. No. 
Right in the back. So, Kenzie, which pedal makes you go? Um, oh, this one. Go. The one that says go on it. Which this one makes you stop? Stop. The one that says stop on it. Hey, look at that. How's it? What is me? That is the on off switch. And I'll teach you guys how to start it and all that stuff. We'll take it out for a spin, okay? Lincoln, do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go back and stay. You want to go back and say it's cold out here, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, you want to try on the helmet? You have to wear helmets and you have to wear seatbelts when you drive. <laughs> so Lincoln probably has to wear that one. Grace, you should be able to wear both. And Kenzie, you probably will fit. That. Wow, wow, you're pretty cool. Can we see I can't even see you in there. <laughs> her glasses see should fit wow. underneath yeah, it, shouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, you need to wear your glasses when you drive. <laughs> All right, ready to take first spin? Yeah. And before the end of the video, you'll get to see the kids as they get a chance to go out and drive around in that little scooter go kart thingy. Also, uh, over the last 20 days, I've had a chance to finish up some projects that, uh, and get some new projects started that, uh, that have been really cool and some that I'm going to get to share with you over the next few months, including a geothermal waterer that we put in uh, over in the uh, steer area, steer pasture, bull pasture, and uh, allows them to drink water no matter what the temperature is. The really cool thing about it is that it's actually manufactured right here in Gillette, Wyoming by Tomcat Manufacturing. And we're gonna be able to show you guys how they build them and how we install it and how it works on the ranch in sub-zero temperatures. So while it's been a really good few weeks, um, you know, it, I guess time catches up with you eventually. And for us uh, this year, it means some pretty radical changes to the ranch. There's really no easy way to say this, but for the last few months, Aaron and I have been extremely worried that uh, we may be on a sinking ship. Um, obviously, ranching now is harder than it ever has been, and uh, there's a number of reasons for that. Trends like this, where we're seeing the prices that ranchers are being paid as compared to what people are being charged in the grocery store for beef and pork and chicken. In fact, for the last six years, uh, we've seen hundreds, if not, well, thousands of small family ranches that have been put out of business by numbers exactly like these, that there's just no way for them to compete. There's no, there's no end in sight. And we were worried that we're next. To combat this, actually here over the last few weeks, we've actually started selling beef online on our website, shipped directly to your door, but it may just be a case of too little too late, and I'll tell you why. Aaron's mom, who owns a majority of the ranch, along with the majority of the cows, decided that she wants to retire. Now, unfortunately, in ranching, there's not much of a retirement plan. There's no 401k, so basically, that means that she decided to sell cows and probably sell land. And so it was this week that we did something that was probably the hardest thing that I've ever done on the ranch, and that was sell a majority of the cows and watch them leave. Those of you who haven't been around for a long time uh, may not know that uh, while Aaron and I came back to the ranch in 2008 to help out, uh, quitting our corporate jobs and, and basically uh, now, you know, basically managing the ranch, the ranch is actually owned a majority of it by Aaron's mom, Rita. And it's been this year, 2022, that Rita has decided that she wants to retire. So what that means is that she is going to be getting rid of all of her cows. Um, she owns about three quarters of the cows that are here on the ranch. Aaron and I own the other quarter. Uh, she is going to be selling land. She is going to be selling the ranch. And that puts us in a weird situation because we have to decide what we want to do and how we 
want to move forward. Obviously, um, we gave up an entire life previous to this to come and and be a part of the ranch and and lord knows we've been we've been blessed for that um, but now it puts us in a really kind of a, a tough situation and one that's going to be um, pretty fluid here over the next uh, few months probably the entire year and maybe even into next year so what's happening today is that uh, cows are being sold they are moving off the ranch um, we cannot, uh, well, Rita needs the money um, from the cows for retirement. So, and Aaron and I don't have the money to buy them. So basically what we've done is we figured out that we can keep about 40 of the cows and we have bought those from Aaron's mom, but the rest of the cows have to go. So we've got all the cows I, I spent yesterday uh, sorting cows and picking out which ones we were going to keep, which ones belong to us anyway, obviously. Um, so um, we managed to get them all sorted off. And now we're waiting for our truck to come up because over the next couple days, we're going to be shipping all the cows off the ranch and to the auction and the sales barn. Hopefully, uh, they're, they're pregnant, obviously. So we hope that another rancher will buy them and, and calve them out and, and be able to make them part of their herd. Um, but we are stuck with uh, now what we have is our 40 cows and uh, and what we're going to do is run with them at least through calving and then we're going to see what happens. While we're waiting for the truck to show up, um, these are the cows that are going to be loaded up and leaving the ranch today. Uh, there's about 40, no, there's uh, almost 60 cows in here uh, that are going to be leaving and loading on the truck and getting on out of here. Not only uh, will these cows be leaving, but next week we're selling calves. So our goal is to hope to be able to buy as many calves as we can from Rita. I gotta turn off this water because it's overflowing. <laughs> so our plan is to hopefully be able to buy as many calves as we can from Rita. Um, heifer calves, steer calves that will go into our feedlot program and, uh, and be able to continue growing from that point. But really this is a major rebuild uh, for us on the ranch. Here comes the truck pulling in. He's going to back up to our loading chute. We'll get you guys some footage of us loading these cows out, getting them off the ranch one final time. And coming up, we're going to talk about the other flip side, I guess, of this equation, and that is the land. Um, there's no ranch without land, and that's one Thing that's gonna really uh, put us in a pickle. So we're gonna talk about that coming up, but we've gotta load these cows, so come along, give us a hand. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place but we grew up this old time Just put it all behind Remember you and I Would always find somewhere to hide When we were kids so we could see And hear the water run River's gonna cry when you're gone Where will you go? Won't you miss the ones you know? I'll be here, hanging on, waiting for your call Seems like time Pass away, passing by Never's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. Never's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. Never's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. Never's gonna cry when you're never's gonna cry when you're gone.
just gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. I'm just gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. I'm just gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. I'm just gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. I'm just gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. I'm just gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. So there it goes, first load of cows off the ranch. Um, that brings us down to a lot less cows here. And by the time we're done with this whole operation, there will be 40 cows left on the ranch. And it's, uh, it's a tough pill to swallow. Well, like I said, it's kind of a bittersweet deal. Um, Obviously reducing herd size, not so much a bad thing. We're not gonna spend as much money on hay. We know that, that's a good thing. Um, but uh, yeah, it definitely does affect next year's profit because you have a lot less cows. Well, if there is a profit, affects next year's calf check. Let's say that because we have a lot less calves to sell for next year, but it's something we'll deal with. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna drive to Buffalo. We're gonna get these guys unloaded, get back to the ranch and then we can talk about the rest of it. We can talk about um, the land, which is, a, which is a big part of it. But for now, I just want to drive. I just want to listen to some music. Um, kind of be done for the day. So I will uh, come back tomorrow. I'll show you the cows that we have left. I'll introduce you to some of those guys. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about the future of the ranch then. Because I just... Nope, not today. And that wasn't easy, watching those cows leave that have been here a majority of their life um, made it really, really hard. And hard to share, too. Over the last week or so here, I've actually come up with a saying, and I don't know how much this rings true to everybody, but um, you, can, uh, you can love farming and ranching with every last bit of your soul but that doesn't mean that farming and ranching loves you back sometimes it's gonna make your days miserable and some days it's gonna make them harder than you ever thought they could be so along with the majority of the cows leaving the ranch we also have to figure out what we're gonna do about the ranch itself about the land and that's that's one of the really hard parts Aaron's mom is probably going to sell the ranch and all we can do is hope that we're able to buy it we do have some meetings set up with lenders and uh, hopefully those go well and we're able to get a loan and, and uh, we can make this place our own we hope but it's definitely not going to be easy right now we've managed to save our herd um, which was some cows that we owned and uh, we bought a few that we could afford from Aaron's mom. So we've actually got 40 cows left here on the ranch beside these calves that you see here that uh, are gonna be leaving next week. So we're kind of scrambling. We're trying to figure out what we're gonna do, but uh, at least we've got something left right now and something to rebuild from if we have to. And who knows, maybe we'll be able to buy some of these heifers and these steers to help move things along. Now this isn't something that just kind of got sprung on us. We actually knew it was coming at some point, as it does for most ranchers and most ranch families, even farm families. But um, it always happens a little bit faster than you thought it was going to. So we have managed to buy a few hundred acres uh, from Aaron's mom that we are going to um, run ourselves and we are planning on leasing the rest of the ranch from her until 
we can figure out if we can buy it or if she, somebody else shows up and, and buys it. Um, that's always a slippery slope to, to go down. And for right now, it's actually a very uncertain future, not only for us, but for Aaron's mom as well. Um, I mean, she doesn't want to see the ranch go away. And well, for the ranch too. So we got to look at the bright side. We do have 40 cows left here on the ranch. It's going to make calving a lot easier, that's for sure. And you know what? We'll get a chance to know them probably better than we ever have gotten to know cows in our life. Let's go out and meet them. Everybody remembers Bambi, of course. Hey, Bambi. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> I don't think she could. We, we couldn't get her to leave if we wanted to, huh? You're here forever. Yep. Okay, that's Bambi. You, re you may remember this girl. This is 184. This is actually one of Lincoln's cows. She'll get friendlier as we go here, but... Uh, she was actually a star of calving last year. I just bit my finger. Here's another cow that we couldn't do without. You may remember her as uh, the cow that had the toilet around her head, but she's been a fixture on the ranch for quite a while. Number two, she was voted biggest pain in the butt last year. Still a sweet cow. So dropping from over 100 cows to 40 cows, obviously a big difference, but we're gonna make the best of it that we can. And who knows, maybe a smaller family will make for a, a better family. One guy who did get to stay is Cracker Jack. He's right over there. He's still my buddy. Hey, kid. Aw, oh, you slimed me. And so occasionally somebody will ask me, why do you put yourself through this? Why do you go through the stress, the heartache, the everything else that you have to deal with in order to make this all work? Why, why bother? Well, there's really only one answer to that question. I think it's the reason Aaron and I do anything. It's the reason we go, well, it's the reason we wake up every morning and it's the reason we go to sleep dead tired every single night.
Very cool. Here he goes. Why are you happy? You ain't happy, boy. <laughs> There's no happy. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Is this their hyper hour? <laughs> it's somebody's hyper her, hour. Her horns are. Look how big Jack's horns are. They got big, huh? Well, shoot. well guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for coming along with us. 2022 is gonna be one heck of a ride. Um, it's gonna be a whole new ball game. Every drop of sweat is gonna be that much more important. Every cent, obviously, is gonna mean that much more. And every single blessing is one that we can definitely use. Thank you very much. Um, be sure to stick around today, uh, this evening actually, uh, for our live stream happens tonight on the Beyond the Ranch channel. So head on over there if you have questions, the goats are trying to get me. If you guys have questions, we'll be sure to answer them. Beyond the Ranch is the name of the channel. It's our live stream channel. and We'll be more than happy to, to hang out with you guys and answer any questions that you might have as to the future of the ranch, 2022, what's gonna happen and, and how this whole thing is gonna unfold. At least we hope so. Kenzie, what's the big question that we always ask people to do? Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Follow along as we ex continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. I can't promise you that every single day is going to have a, a happy ending, but uh, with these guys back here, it's kind of hard not to. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life.